Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. So money, is it good or is it evil? So I was chatting with some clients the other day and the topic of money came up and it's always a really interesting topic because it's such a large part of our lives. It gives us the tools to do things. Nearly everything in our life costs us money. Not everything, but a lot of things. A lot of our security comes from having to pay money. Our housing, our food, our clothes, all of that stuff. And our relationship to money can undermine our whole experience of life. And this discussion I had with, the, with my clients um, was really fascinating because also on retrospect, sort of when I was looking back on it and I was pondering it, it was really interesting. Because what seemed to come out of it was this idea that by having more money, they would have more freedom. And I suppose I've been quite blessed in my life. I've, I've managed to experience quite a lot of different things with money. I've experienced having a lot of it. I've experienced having a little of it. I've experienced sort of, you know, just enough. And I think the one thing that I have come to learn is that money does not actually buy you freedom. Um, it doesn't buy you love. It doesn't buy you any of the experiences you think it will. It allows you to do things, definitely. It allows you to travel. It allows you to go out and enjoy yourself and indulge in hobbies and things like that. Um, it allows you to have nice clothes and nice houses and to eat in nice restaurants. But how you experience those things, it doesn't give you that. And I think that's what I really got from this discussion, was as it sort of went along and when they were talking about freedom and things like that, um, I can't remember, I made some comment about money. That's it. I mentioned that a lot of people I know who are very wealthy are not actually happy. Um, but that's not to say there aren't wealthy people that are happy. I don't believe that money caused them to be unhappy, although it did cause more problems for them than I think people would anticipate. When you've got lots of money, people expect you to help them out. They come to you for that money. They want a bit of it. They want a bit of you. So it's not like you you end up having lots and lots of money and you remain the same. People view you differently and they treat you differently. Um, the wealthy, the really wealthy people that I know, they struggle to have really true friends because so many people want to be close to them to get something from them. So their, their friendship group, from what I can see, um, and it might just be my particular perspective, shrinks quite considerably. They're close friends. And what I was saying about um, some of the people that I know that are very wealthy, that aren't particularly happy, that was kind of the conclusion that we came to as a group when we were discussing this, is that money doesn't buy happiness. I don't think it even buys you freedom, because quite often when you have more money, you buy more things, you have bigger houses, you have bigger responsibilities. So your responsibility increases quite often with the amount of money that you have. Not always, depends how you use it and what you do with it. But I think my conclusion with this whole discussion with money is that money is just simply a thing. We give it such importance. We invest in it. We, you know, we invest emotionally in having it. It sort of, we treat it like a living entity. When all it is, is our representation of value, of what we value. So if we want a nice car, we're willing to give this amount of money, the equivalent of how much we value that car. If we value this house, we're willing to give you this much money because we value the house this much. The money itself is simply a tool. And I think that is really what we sort of, I'm waffling here, <laughs> and I've repeated myself a number of times, but I keep on drifting off. The conclusion is, that money does not make you happy. That if you are a happy person and you end up or you work and you get lots of money, however you happen to get it into your life, then you will most likely still be a happy person because that is who you are. It amplifies or it gives you the ability to amplify the kind of person you are. If you're somebody who finds fault in life and um, thinks life's against you, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you are still the same person and your outlook on life is still the same. The money doesn't change you. The money just simply amplifies what you are. I don't know if this is the truth. This is just something I was pondering and it seemed to make sense to me while I was pondering it. So I thought I would share it with you. So maybe what we shouldn't be doing is chasing money. Although it is nice to have, I'm not disagreeing with that. 
But really, the real change that we're looking for is the change inside. Um, when I think of people like Nelson Mandela and Gandhi, they found freedom in a prison cell with nothing, absolutely nothing. So chasing money doesn't give us freedom. We can find freedom wherever we are. We can find love wherever we are. We can find happiness wherever we are. Money doesn't give us those things, but it does make life a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable if you have already had those things. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sorry, it was a bit rambly and a bit convoluted. I kept on diving off down certain pathways. As usual, there's loads of links in the show notes below. There's a link to my free seven day happiness boost course, links to my website, should you wish to do some coaching with me or team coaching and uh, links to my social media if you'd like to follow me on there. And if you've enjoyed this, remember to subscribe so you don't miss any more. Lots of love and have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.